Okay, here we have a tidal wave problem. A tsunami is a fast-moving ocean wave caused by an underwater earthquake. The water first goes down from its normal level, then rises an equal distance above its normal level, and finally returns to its normal level. The period is about 15 minutes. So, suppose we have a tsunami with an amplitude of 10 meters approaching the pier at Honolulu, where the normal depth of the water is 9 meters. Uh, okay, so first of all, let's try and build up a, a picture and then we'll, um, we'll get a, a function for this. All right, so if I just very roughly, let's, let's use this one actually. Let's just first start off with, right, so what we, what we need is we need to be talking about 15 minutes so this is easy enough to split up 15 7.5 and then in between there um, we've got if this is zero then it says that normally we have a, a depth of water of nine meters but it tells us that the amplitude is 10 meters so that means we're going to go up to 19 and actually down to negative 1 all right so that means that it's actually there's not going to be any water for a certain amount of time all right so now if I try and carefully draw this on I'll do my best um, we're going to start at the normal depth so here and we're going to go down to begin with so down to about here back to the normal depth and then up to the highest point 19 meters and then back down to the normal depth so our graph very roughly and badly drawn is gonna look something like this that's good enough a sketch for me to have a good picture of what I'm trying to do all right so I'm I'm going to choose sign because I'm starting at the, the principal axis and I'm going to choose negative sign, y equals negative sign because I'm going to start by going down. Um, now my amplitude is 10, so I'm going to do negative 10 sign and now is where I need to work out the b. So b equals 2 pi over the period which is 15 Let's, let's leave it as it is, 2 pi over 15 times t, and I don't need any horizontal translation, but I do need to move the principal axis up to 9. So there we have, that's a model of a, that's, a, that's the function that we've got, where y is the, the height or the depth of the water. All right, so we're going to use that to, to model a time after 2, 4, and 12 minutes. So um, let's go in here, and let's make this. So we need to do minus 10 sine. We've got 2 over 15, and we need to add 9. Okay, there we go. So let's... Um, Oh, zoom in a bit, we only need to see the first 15 minutes really, that's all we're, we were asked to, right, so there's our graph. So it, the first thing it said was what's happening after two minutes, so if I go two minutes in here, I get 1.569, the next one was after four minutes, let's just go along to four minutes, what's happening? Right, four minutes, the depth of water is zero. So anything negative is going to be zero water. It's the, the tsunami's taken all the water away. It's the, there's, there's no water underneath the pier at that point. Okay, um, back, back over here. What's the next one? 12 minutes. Okay, so after 12 minutes, we are oh, here. Here we are. So 18.511 meters um, is the depth of the water. So this is very near the top of the tsunami. The tsunami is going right over the pier at this point. 
According to your model, what will be the minimum depth the water can be? Oh, well, we just answered that one. That was zero. And, and actually, we just talked about that as well. Um, and then C, what should someone do if they notice the sea level dropping quickly? Well, I'll let you uh, have a think about that one.